Well, kiddies, I'm on another excursion coming up. I don't know how long this one will take, uh, but it's an old one. Uh, if you remember the old Twin Sisters Cannons, it seems that we've got a new lead on the Twin Sisters Cannons, and we may have put the, uh, the, the location now. We may have it nailed down to at least within, I'd say, 300 yards minimum, 1,000 feet or so, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the Twin Sisters were the cannons that were helped win the uh, War of Independence for Texas, and they were buried after they were used in the Battle of Galveston during the Civil War uh, by some Confederate patriots. Um, we'll get into that as we go along. But what I want to do is just kind of let you guys know that we found some new evidence. We may have found a location this time. Uh, I'm pretty confident that we have the location of these cannons. And that means that uh, this will be the biggest thing as far as uh, Texas history. Uh, this is what's considered the holy grail of Texas history. Uh, the lost cannons that uh, defended Texas uh, from the Mexicans at the Battle of San Jacinto. Um, we'll go more into detail, more into the stories, and we'll be going actually looking at the location and then trying to find a way to dig this up. It's, it's a long, strange story. Uh, it uh, involves some intrigue, some mysteries, some unknown people that watch this my channel. So whoever you are, uh, it's beginning. Uh, that's a message to them. Uh, we are um, ready and we are proceeding forward. So we will find the cannons if they're still there. Now, will you guys be involved? Are you coming or what? Are you going to be there? You're going to be Mr. Mystery Guys. I know one of the guys, you know, I've talked to him, that's involved with this group. And I'm talking about a mystery group, so I know that, you know I can't really get into no detail more about it than that. But there are a couple of people that refer to be unnamed and unfaced at this time, um, you know. And they sent me a lot of information, so it's all it's all on them. I mean, it's basically their information I'm using now, which I can see that we were wrong. Uh, especially on the other, uh, and I'll go into that. Uh, the tree that we used that had the uh, sweetheart in it was only, we had that, uh, somebody come out from the tree, tree specialist uh, come out and do a uh, study on that tree. And it's only about 80 years old, so it wouldn't have been used as a marker. It wouldn't be old enough for that. Um, and we received more inf way more information uh, from these guys I guess we'll call it Mystery Group X. Uh, that's pinpointing this location. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they're entirely correct, but I believe that they're almost pretty near correct. I mean, they could be very well on pinpointed, it, uh, or they could be off just by a little bit, but it's, it's in that vicinity, and we'll get more into that. So it's the search for the Twin Sisters Cannons. Uh, we'll be starting that new series coming up uh, in a week or so. Stay tuned. Get you some learning.